A new forecast shows economic growth is slowing, and as CBS 4's Kristen Eskow reports, Republicans are concerned they won't be able to meet all the funding requests they've received. Economic projections released here earlier show if there's a recession next year, Indiana likely won't face very much of a negative impact from that. Still, Republican lawmakers working on the budget say they want to take a cautious approach when it comes to spending. Projections unveiled at a state budget committee meeting Thursday show Indiana lawmakers will have $1.6 billion in new funding to spend in the next two-year budget. But Republican State Senator Ryan Mishler, who chairs the Appropriations Committee, says spending requests are adding up quickly. Just the agencies alone have asked for over $700 million, which is more than the $600 million increase, and we haven't even discussed member uh, requests K-12 tuition support or higher ed. The state budget agency says right now Indiana's surplus is close to four billion dollars. That comes after lawmakers refunded taxpayers one billion dollars during the special session and approved an income tax cut earlier in the year. But Mishler says lawmakers can't use all the surplus in their next budget. There's three buckets we don't touch and that's the Medicaid reserve, the tuition reserve and the rainy day fund. Mishler also says it's uncertain exactly how much lawmakers will be able to increase public health funding. Earlier this year, a commission called for $240 million per year in state spending. I think we have more than what we anticipate. Democratic State Representative Greg Porter says he wants to make sure funding for education and public health remains a priority. In order to have a strong economy, you got to have a good workforce, and the workforce does have to do with health. Porter worries some tax cuts already approved earlier this year, like the utility receipts tax, may have cost the state valuable funds. Still, Republicans aren't ruling out more tax cuts this session. Mishler says it's a balancing act. When you cut taxes, you reduce revenue, so um, if you, it depends on what you want to spend. Indiana does have a gradual income tax cut that's already started to take effect and will continue to decline over the next few years. At the State House, I'm Kristen Escal. Kristen, thank you.